your slide is going to be, when I look at your slide, do I know immediately your point of view? In one word or one phrase, one picture of your choice that would convey it, that's all you have to do in four minutes. An edu protocol is a frame for lessons. So teachers take a lesson idea, I want them to learn about this, and put it in the frame. And the beauty of the frame is that the cognitive load of how are we gonna do this activity by the kids as well as the teacher, is, it's done. It's the creativity and how you bring the topic in and what resources are we using. So the students are not worried about how am I gonna do it, it's how can I do it. Do you guys think this one, this list is harder than last week? Yeah. Yeah. It is, because it's the word parts that are like stuck in the middle of a word. Most of them are not real words by themselves, they're parts of words. So now we have to focus in what word has this part in it. So what do you guys need to beat? You need to beat 57%, but here's the bad part. Remember, day one, you get four minutes. Day two, you get three, three minutes. So it might go down a little the first time, but look what happened to these guys. It went up. So I know you guys can do it. Are you ready? Yes, All right, let's get the code. Remember, you can still help each other. And we'll talk in a minute about this particular version of the Fast and the Curious. Edu Protocols calls it Fast and Curious, but the energy and excitement and making it pet competitive make it Fast and Furious. Basically, it is a device where you're doing multiple repetitions of the same information quickly so that between five to eight repetitions in one week can bring vocabulary comprehension accuracy from 20%, which is what I had, one week up to 94%. You're giving six, seven minutes a day, and it's a quick hit. It's a, here's the word, what does it mean? And they're playing a game. It's very easy to get started with Fast and Curious because uh, many of our teachers use Gym Kit. Uh, I use Gym Kit, Kahoot, quizzes. We're already in a gamification sort of mentality and they want to play. I used to use my starters, which were grammar or some sort of thing, and they come in and take their time getting out their devices and all the other stuff that happens. When the game code's on the screen, they're ready to go. So we do two quick reps. Each rep is a three minute rep. We record the results so they can see themselves getting better every day. And this is the point. We move from an extrinsic kind of, I need you to do this, I'm happy for you to, I need to do this, I'm happy for me. I'm getting up there, I went to 100%. So it's the beginning of the day, it really sets a good tone for moving the day at a good pace, we're getting things done, but it's fun. You're gonna put one word or phrase, one image on your slide that shows how you feel about whether or not we should have zoos. We have spent multiple days looking at sources. The Dallas Zoo was a video. We read an article about whether or not we should have zoos. And I asked you for your thought about it. So this slide is kind of like the Fast and the Curious. You don't get to go, um, perhaps. What? You have to say yes or no in a creative way. I'm gonna let you pick the way. And this says one image. If you get done before the four minutes is up, you only have four minutes. You could add some other little things to the slide if you want to. But when I look at your one slide, I better know how you feel about it. In a thin slide, they get one slide and the slide deck is shared with everybody in the room and they get one word or phrase, one image, and then it's like three minutes and we give them the topic. So the prompt is on their slide already and I've duplicated the slide 36 times or whatever. And they have only this amount of time to put in something that represents that concept. So ours was, how do I feel about zoos? Should we have zoos? But they don't get to you know, write an essay, which is quite lovely because they don't want to write an essay all the time. So they had to pick a picture and maybe it was, um, that somebody had to infer but they could infer it correctly, or they're just a strong, out, blatant claim. So they had to do that in three minutes, and then we took another three minutes or four minutes, I think I gave them four minutes, and they had to go through everybody, everybody else's slide and put a check mark if they were clear on what the claim was. That was it, not good, not bad, not I like, just 
do I know how you feel about this? And so that was the purpose of that one because that's a standard they can write a strong claim. So now we're gonna go to our cyber sandwich that we've been working on. And here's where we left off yesterday with my paragraph. We have about 20 minutes, roughly, a little less. Your paragraphs, you should be moving at almost the same speed that you guys just gave me in four minutes. You know your opinion. We've read and viewed sources on this topic. So now a strong claim, just like I asked you to do a strong claim in this slide. Yes, no, now explain why. So we have a strong claim. Now we're gonna give reasons why we think that. And some of the people were even clever and put evidence. They talked about the Dallas Zoo, what was going on in the Dallas Zoo. Now we have evidence. We don't just have a claim and reason, we have evidence in there. If I were ranking strategies, techniques, I've been teaching a long time, and things come in the era they're built into. I think the most exciting thing is that I can still be excited about teaching. And these are the things that make me excited. I can find something new where I'm using their desire to be on technology, but I can monitor it immediately. Are they with me? Are they learning? It's your teaching. You are the person that's making it exciting. This is the tool that gets you there faster. Do you remember um, anything that you read or videos we watched that you could like cite that evidence? Like, like we watched the Australian Zoo, remember that? And everything is about rehabilitate, release. So you can reference that.